Hello family, we thank God for another day. We bless him for his love and kindness and his tender mercies. The Lord has been good and gracious and we give him all the glory and all the honour. Um, today I want to look at Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. It says, he who walks as a companion with wise men will be wise, but the companions of conceited, dull-witted fools are fools themselves and will experience harm. Today, the Lord wants me to share with you that walking with the wise gives wisdom. The notion walking is indicative of the fact that we are to live with wise people. We're to surround ourselves with wise people. And the Bible makes it clear in the scripture that I've read that when we do that, we will not experience harm. But when we surround ourselves with people who are conceited, people the Bible or God considers to be fools, we will experience harm. It is often said that one can tell a person's character by the friends that they keep. And so in a similar vein, if we, you surround yourself with wise people, it's inevitable that the wisdom will rub off of you, which is why the Bible is encouraging us or instructing us that we are to surround ourselves. We are to live with wise people. And the scripture that came to mind as I pondered on this word of the Lord to us today is is the story of Moses, that Moses was such a great man used mightily of God to do some incredible, incredible things that um, even when we look back on history, some of the things that God used Moses for, he's never used any man to do since then. But Moses encountered a situation in his life where he too needed the counsel of a wise person. And so in Exodus chapter 18, Reading from verse 16 to the very end, this is what it says. It says, when they have a dispute, they come to me. So this is Moses speaking to his father-in-law. So I'll read, I'll start again. It says, when they have a dispute, they come to me and I judge between a man and his neighbor and I make known the statutes of God and his laws. Moses, his father-in-law said to him, the thing that you are doing is not good. You will certainly wear out both yourself and these people who are with you because the task is too heavy for you to bear. You cannot do it alone. Now listen to me. I will advise you and may God be with you to confirm my advice. You shall represent the people before God. You shall bring their disputes and causes to him. You shall teach them the decrees and laws. You shall show them the way they are to live and the work they are to do. Furthermore, you shall select from all the people competent men who reverently fear God, men of truth, whose, those who hate this honest gain. You shall place these over the people as leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. They shall judge the people at all times. Have, have them bring every major dispute to you, but let them judge every minor dispute themselves, so it will be easier for you, and they will bear the burden with you. If you will do this thing and God so commands you, then you will be able to endure the responsibility and all these people will also go back to their tents in peace. So Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything that he had said. Moses chose able men from all Israel and made them heads of other people, leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties and of tens, from the highest to the lowest judicial levels, and they judged the people at all times. They would bring the difficult cases to Moses, but every minor dispute they judged and decided themselves. Then Moses said goodbye to his father-in-law, and Jethro went back to his own land, Midian. So because he was, um, Moses had a wise man in his father-in-law, his father-in-law's advice gave him strategy in how to ensure that the burden of judging cases that was presented to him was made easier for him. He was given strategy, he was given counsel, and he took that counsel. 
because it was wisdom. And so even if a man, Moses, needed, in this particular story, a counsel, somebody's counsel, how much more us? Because the truth of the matter is, no matter how close we are with God, no matter our relationship, there comes times in our lives when we encounter situations where we really cannot see clearly from where we sit, either because we're deep in in the middle of that particular situation. So sometimes it takes somebody who's standing afar off to be able to see the fuller picture than we can see, which is why sometimes we really need to um, bounce off ideas off of people and to kind of hear what their thoughts and, and opinions are in the view that perhaps they can give us some counsel that we ourselves have not been able to discern. And all these things, it's important that we do, but it's also important who we seek this counsel from, which is why the Lord says that let us surround ourselves with the wise, because when we surround ourselves with wise people, we can hear them give us their wise counsel. And when they give us their wise counsel, we can also go to God and put that counsel before God and and seek the face of God concerning that. And for many people, and certainly, I'm sure most of you in your own lives would remember um, situations or in your life where other people have given you counsel and you took it and you know that in the end it was a blessing. And so the Lord wants us to know that while he's calling us to be wise, he also strategically places people in our lives to help us walk in wisdom. So today, let us remember we can ask God for wisdom. But God can also place in our lives people who are wise so that they can also steer us in the path of wisdom. So we're going to speak our confession over ourselves today like we always do in faith. And our confession is, I seek wisdom and the Lord grants it to me. His wisdom, which is incomparable to the wisdom of this world. I have reverential fear of God. And I am humble in heart. I live by the laws of God and I surround myself with the wise. The Lord bless you and keep you and cause you to have wise people surrounding you in your time when you have to make a critical decision and you do not know which way to go. May the Lord bring you people whose counsel is of God who would be able to steer you in the path that the Lord wants you to go down on. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.